Hello, my name is Aliyah. Last time I mentioned we're going to China wine country, which sounds kind of crazy to me, but I'm really excited. I thought I'd give you a little bit of background why we're heading up to this remote teeny little area in China called Ningxia, which is about two hours west of Beijing. I started learning that China produced wine all over uh, maybe about a year ago and started looking into it. And recently there was some press on a li this little area called Ningxia because they had adopted a classification system similar to the one they use in Bordeaux called the 1955 classification. There's five growths, one, two, three, four, five, and fifth growth wines are always very, very good as well. So China now ha in this little region has this classification system. They haven't allowed any of the wineries in the top first, second, third, or fourth, and they've allowed 10 wineries in the fifth growth. They're hoping that in the next couple of years, and maybe four to eight years, they'll have wineries in all classification systems. In this teeny little area in China, there's actually a hundred wineries, and they're growing Bordeaux grapes like Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cab Franc, and they have some native varietals as well. Some of the chateaus there are massive, I've heard, and I've seen a few pictures, kind of like Dubai meets France, a little over the top, which kind of makes sense for China but then there's a ton of mom and pops. So we're gonna go visit the big ones that are in the classification system. We're gonna visit some of the small ones and really get the scoop for ourselves. I wanna see this up front, I wanna taste this wine and I wanna report back to you and let, let you know what I think.